Hey there, fellow time traveler through the world of television. Television, do you remember the days when the only remote control was your hand, and streaming was just something a river did? Back in those golden days of television, there was a show that transported us to the stunning shores of Hawaii, filling our living rooms with the soothing sounds of waves and the pulse-pounding action of crime-solving. That's right, I'm talking about the iconic 1968 TV series, Hawaii Five-O. Picture it, the year was 1968, and TV screens flickered to life with the adventures of Detective Steve McGarrett and his trusty team as they tackled crime in paradise. Did you ever watch this classic show? If so, I'd love to hear your memories, your favorite moments, and the characters who etched themselves into your heart. Maybe you were captivated by McGarrett's no-nonsense approach, or perhaps you had a soft spot for the bromance between him and Dano. Did the unforgettable theme music make the hairs on your arms stand on end? Or was it the picturesque Hawaiian landscapes that left you daydreaming of a vacation in the Aloha State? So, let's take a stroll down memory lane together. Share your thoughts, your recollections, and your nostalgia for the good old days of Hawaii 5 and for those who haven't experienced it yet, don't worry, because we're about to dive into some fascinating random facts about this legendary show. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. In the 1968 TV series Hawaii Five-0, there's an interesting tidbit about Jack Lord, who played the lead role of Steve McGarrett. Lord was notably absent from a key shootout scene in the show. The reason behind this absence was that the scene was filmed on a Saturday. According to the producers, Jack Lord had a contractual agreement that he would not work on Saturdays. Additionally, the name Chin Ho in the series has an interesting origin. It was derived from Chin Ho, who happened to be the owner of the Ilikai Hotel. This hotel was where the iconic penthouse shot of Jack Lord in the opening title sequence was filmed. Moreover, the title Hawaii Five-O carries a unique significance. The Five-O in the series title refers to Hawaii being the 50th state to enter the Union even though the O in the title is not the number zero but the letter O the meaning, however, remains the same. Over the years, the term 5-0 has become a slang term referring to any police officer. For example, it was used in the 1991 film New Jack City when a character exposed Ice T.S. undercover cop character, saying, Yo, 5-0, this guy is a cop. These interesting facts shed light on some behind-the-scenes details and the cultural impact of the 1968 TV series Hawaii 5 Hawaii 5 In the 1968 TV series Hawaii 5 government intelligence chief Jonathan Kay was portrayed by six different actors throughout the show's 12-year run. These actors included James Gregory, Joseph Sirola, Lyle Betcher, Bill Edwards, Tim O'Connor, and Robert Dixon. This unique aspect of the series added an element of intrigue to the character, as each actor brought their own interpretation to the role of the government intelligence chief. While the series primarily revolved around the adventures of the Hawaii Five-0 police unit, the character of Jonathan K played a pivotal role in various episodes. The changing portrayals of K by different actors may have contributed to the character's enigmatic nature, keeping viewers engaged as they tried to decipher his motivations and allegiances. As for the phone number for Hawaii 5 it was prominently displayed as 808-732-5577 on Kono's card in the episode titled Hawaii 5 Nightmare Road. This number became iconic in its own right and is forever associated with the series, serving as a memorable detail for fans. In the world of Hawaii 5 Jack Lord, who played Steve McGarrett, was the only cast member to stay with the series for its entire 12-year duration. The other main cast members had their own reasons for departing the show at various points. Zulu, who portrayed Kono Kalika, left in the fourth season. Cam Fong, known for his role as Chin Ho Kelly, departed after the tenth season. James MacArthur, who played Danny Dano Williams, left the series after season 11. In a 1996 interview, MacArthur revealed that he had become tired and wanted to explore other opportunities. Additionally, there were delays in the decision to renew the show for another season, prompting MacArthur to accept another job offer. These dynamics behind the scenes of Hawaii 5 shed light on the challenges 
and changes that occurred during the show's long and successful run. The series remains a significant part of television history, with its iconic characters and memorable moments continuing to captivate audiences. In summary, the 1968 TV series Hawaii Five-O featured government intelligence chief Jonathan K. played by six different actors, showcased the iconic phone number 808. 7325577 and witnessed the departure of key cast members over its 12-year run, including James MacArthur's decision to leave after season 11. In the 1968 TV series Hawaii Five-0, a notable character, Wo Fat, had an interesting origin for his name. It is said that the name Wo Fat was inspired by a restaurant located in downtown Honolulu. This small but intriguing detail adds a touch of local flavor to the show connecting it to the real-life surroundings of Hawaii's capital city. The show underwent some changes in its ninth season. During that time, the 5-0 offices were relocated from the historic Ailani Palace to an office building down the street. This move was due in part to renovations at the Ailani Palace, and also because CBS was constructing a new studio for the series, which wasn't ready for early episodes. In each episode of that season, the change was introduced by showing the Ailani Palace covered in scaffolding, followed by a quick pan down the street to the new office building. This shift in location gave the series a fresh look while still maintaining its connection to the iconic palace. They later moved back to the palace for the 10th season. In the world of Hawaii Five-0, there's an interesting detail regarding the characters' smoking habits. Danny was the only member of the 5-0 team ever shown smoking cigarettes, while Chin Ho Kelly was occasionally seen smoking a pipe in several episodes. This subtle character trait added a layer of realism to the show, reflecting the smoking habits of the era. These tidbits of information provide a glimpse into the background details and changes that occurred in the iconic TV series Hawaii Five-0. From the naming inspiration of Wo Fat to the relocation of the Five-0 offices, and the characters' smoking habits, these elements contributed to the show's unique charm and authenticity. Elvis Presley's tribute to Jack Lord in Hawaii Five-0 during his 1973 Aloha from Hawaii live concert. Elvis Presley cited Jack Lord as one of his favorite actors, thanks to his performance in the TV series Hawaii Five-0. Elvis, the king of rock and roll, was known for his charismatic stage presence and musical talents. However, he also had a deep appreciation for acting and television. Jack Lord played the iconic role of Steve McGarrett, the head of the Hawaii State Police, in Hawaii Five-0. The show, which aired from 1968 to 1980, was set against the beautiful backdrop of Hawaii and became a classic in the crime drama genre. Lord's portrayal of McGarrett as a no-nonsense, determined law enforcement officer left a lasting impression on viewers, including the legendary Elvis Presley. During his Aloha from Hawaii concert, which was broadcast to a global audience, Elvis took a moment to express his admiration for Jack Lord. He praised Lord's performance and mentioned that he was a fan of the show. This acknowledgement by Elvis Presley further solidified the impact of Hawaii Five-0 and Jack Lord's character on popular culture during the 1970s. Elvis Presley's tribute to Jack Lord serves as a testament to the enduring appeal and influence of Hawaii Five-0. The show continues to be celebrated for its gripping crime-solving narratives, stunning Hawaiian scenery, and the memorable character of Steve McGarrett, portrayed by Jack Lord. In the world of entertainment, it's not uncommon for one legend to appreciate the work of another. In this case, Elvis Presley's nod to Jack Lord's performance in Hawaii Five-0 is a fascinating intersection of music and television history that continues to be remembered and cherished by fans of both Elvis and the iconic TV series. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the 1968 TV series Hawaii Five-0, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this iconic show has had on your life. Whether you've been a devoted fan since its inception or recently discovered its timeless allure, Hawaii Five-0 has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the tapestry of television history. Perhaps you found yourself mesmerized by the lush Hawaiian landscapes, or maybe it was the pulse-pounding crime-solving adventures of Steve McGarrett and his team that kept you on the edge of your seat. The dynamic characters, the pulsating soundtrack, and the gripping storytelling combined to create a television experience like no other. Now, we encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Hawaii Five-0. 
What moments resonated with you the most? Which characters stole your heart, and what life lessons did you glean from their exploits in the Aloha State? Whether it's a heart-pounding chase scene, a memorable catchphrase, or a poignant character arc, we want to hear your personal connection to this remarkable series. Your stories and reflections add depth to the legacy of Hawaii Five-0, and help keep its spirit alive. So, don't hesitate to share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments with us and your fellow fans. Together, let's celebrate the enduring allure of this classic series. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce with us about Hawaii Five-0. Your interest and passion for this show continue to make it a timeless treasure in the world of television. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories.